Hey guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and in today's video we do have the boosted summons event going on for Void Shards. It's at two times on the Void Shard itself to get an Epic and a Legendary, and then we also have a special 10 times this weekend. So we've got 10 times on our Sergo Warcaller today. It ends in three a little over three and a half hours left and then tomorrow we have Necrit the Great for a ten times which the uh, Void two times is still running throughout the rest of the weekend I'm personally gonna pull and try to get Ursurga Ursiga however you say her name but Necrit the Great is also insanely good but honestly I'm okay with either one because I want to build a defensive team and I know Ur Ursiga would be really good against the new Hydra boss. She's insanely good. I think she's actually the number one defensive champion in the game. Um, obviously I don't have her. I haven't pulled a legendary void yet. So here's to hoping. I really hope if I do pull and I get her I'm going to be super stoked. But who knows. I'm okay with pretty much any void besides Yakarl. Um, and if I do get Yakarl, then it is what it is. So here goes nothing. Come on, I'm due for a Void Legendary. I really am. I'm really due for a Void Legendary. There's another rare. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness gracious. So I still don't have a Void Legendary. It's just not meant to be. It's pretty sad. I've been playing almost two years and still haven't pulled a Void Legendary. Hopefully you guys out there have been luckier than me. But yeah, it's pretty upsetting. It's frustrating. Uh, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that. I do have Arbiter and I have Visix, of course, from the Login Rewards and from the uh, missions. And I'm working towards other missions now. I'm also working towards finishing Lydia, as you know. And I just recently finished Sacred Order. Definitely check out that video that I posted on Sacred Order. It's a great video. And I didn't use Legendary Champions. And I didn't use a Reviver. Uh, so I didn't use Cardinal. And a lot of people who make videos on Sacred Order always have Cardinal or some type of Legendary Champion. Like, for example, Sigmund, the High Shield. People use that guy because he's brand new. And he's kind of a carry on the team. But again... I didn't use a single Legendary or Reviver. Definitely watch that video. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six crypts left. So I'm going to be working on all of these crypts. I'll be getting a Legendary Skill Tome soon. That's huge. And a Rank 5 Chicken. So I'm super stoked. And then I'll get another Sacred Shard very soon. I believe it at, it's at 7.30 or 7.50 of the stars. All right, guys. I'm back. It's the next day. And we do have a 10 times on Necrit the Great. This guy is an absolute maniac on defense in Arena. So I'm really hoping I pull this guy. I do have just one Void Shard that I got from beating the Doom Tower boss, uh, Bommel. So, and it was on the normal floor, so I pulled a Void Shard. I pulled two shards yesterday. Here's one shard for today. I might have another one uh, for later on if I can get it, uh, but we'll see. And then this, this video will continue. So, without further ado, here we go. Come on, get a Necrit. No! Okay, so we still don't have what we want. I got a Pain Keeper. I already have Pain Keeper. I actually don't use her because I don't have an unkillable team, so there's no point for me to even build her up at this point. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get another Void Shard. I'm really hoping I can pull that through. So if I do get a Void Shard, let's see. Let's see where I can pull a Void. I'm pretty sure... Not on Faction Wars. Maybe I get lucky, pull a Void Shard with the Clam Boss when I wake up in the morning. So it's actually really late right now, but once I get up, I'm going to be going to bed soon. I'll be getting up and hopefully get a Void Shard. If not, then that's it for the weekend. So here's to hoping. All right, y'all. So I didn't end up getting a Void Shard from the Clam Boss from uh, yesterday morning. Uh, it's pretty late right now. So I figured I'd let you know I didn't pull another Void Shard. So that's it for Void Pulls. However, good news is in Faction Wars today, I was able to push. I upgraded my, my Seer to rank 6, level 60. I was able to upgrade some of my dungeon teams with Seer. 
and also push the orc crypt uh, and I got one star on stage 21 so far just from upgrading my seer all I need to do now is upgrade my Zargala and I will get some more masteries on her and then I think I'll be good to go or I could just put my Zargala in a stun set and then this is as good as one I'll definitely win this before the time runs out and I did collect some nice goodies here so I got a legendary tome and a five star chicken so that's huge and then in five more points five more stars I'll have another sacred shard which is gonna go towards the next fusion which is that new guy uh, the new like dragon looking dude it looks pretty cool it looks like a, a lion and then he has like wings and whatnot I forget the name of the new champion for the fusion but it does seem like it's gonna be a great fusion for those who are free to play friendly you know trying to work on Hydra boss uh, he has a great kit for Hydra he has a great kit for dungeons and doom tower as well I think he's gonna be a good champion now I don't think he'll be overpowered but I do think he's going to be a very good champion so you definitely want to go for him uh, the next thing that's gonna be opening is the skinwalker crypt and the dark the dwarf crypt so for me skinwalker Banner Lords and Dwarf are my weakest factions. I'm working on Lizardmen and Ogren tribes, so those ones should be, hopefully I can complete them this week. And then of course we do have the um, the new Shadowkin faction crypt opening up soon. So you really have to start pushing on your faction crypts right now before the, faction, the new faction crypt opens, because if you don't beat it, Shadowkin's going to open and it's just going to be a whole nother crypt for you to beat before you can get that Lydia. So that's kind of my goal is to get Lydia before Shadowkin opens. I don't know if I'm going to beat that goal or reach it, but you never know. So here's to hoping on that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure pulling these Void Shards and not getting any Void Legendaries at all. So hopefully you guys pulled something crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching if you watched this far. I have terrible luck with polling. Hope you guys have better luck. Take care.